back welcome if you're new welcome 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 how you doing i am so bullish girl this is a pick a card reading where we are using our intuition we're gonna check in and see how does he she feel about me okay if you want to get straight into the video this is pile number one this is pile number two and this is pile number three okay how does he she feel about me and like what do they want to say check out the timestamps down below and let's get into pile number one this one thank you let's get straight into pile number one yes pile number one if you chose this selenite crystal let's see what is this person you know what are their thoughts about you right now what do they want to say okay um all right you got be real with them and speak your effing truth already so i don't know if you've not been keeping it real with this person but yeah mm. now it could be that you're saying that about them but let's just see this person is shady as f and you know it what all right so this one is kind of scandalous we do have the why okay how are they feeling and why hmm um so yeah i feel like this person has been burned in the past and um let's just see why they're feeling this way we have the four of swords we have the five of pentacles and we have the ace of swords. okay it could have something to do with you not making time for them okay someone in this scenario is feeling like the other person is not making time okay it's like yeah you're not making time and it's clear but the communication is amazing the communication is amazing but the time that's being spent is very limited so um if this is you feeling this way about this person i would say that they're kind of feeling the energy of like well damn i feel like something was said all right something was definitely said about timing and space i'm really getting the energy of like virgo taurus virgo capricorn okay we also have air sign energy gemini aquarius libra okay so how are let's just see how you're feeling about this person really quick let's see pile one how are you feeling at the moment about this person oh you're feeling like this person is a good time yeah this person reminds you of home there's just something really comforting and like loving about this person's energy we got the four of ones okay aries leo sag energy is also coming through it's like this this is fun it's a lot of fun and the three of ones you know you could be dating this person you could be getting to know this person this person is exciting so if this person like is not spending time with you like if they're like you know being like they're busy or whatever with this five of wands they could be missing you i don't know like maybe you have to tell this person um <laughs> you know what i'm saying i don't know i don't know you let me know but i definitely feel like yeah i like this energy of you expecting more i feel like you you know you raise the bar for this person in in the connection all right so yeah let's see um how are they feeling about you because we see here this is like some the communication issue right um maybe some communications like ended suddenly but let's see how they feeling about you wow honestly they're just like if you want to invest in it i want to invest in it 
we have the six of swords which is the six of feathers okay so it's kind of like they're in a reminiscent state also i do feel like especially if you haven't spoken to them over something that happened in the past because there is this element of like keeping it real here and then this person is shady af right so um how are they feeling with this it's, it, i'm getting the energy of them really wanting to be like if we speak i want to see you or i want to be around you but if we do like we need to leave the negative energy in the past and this person could have oh my goodness i really i really love this um yes it's it because it, it clarifies it so don't be surprised if you like get some roses or a really sweet gesture made or you get invited to hang out with this person and their family um if things really do escalate to another level we have the ten of roses that's the ten of pentacles um that's more towards virgo capricorn energy so we're going from the five of pentacles to the ten of pentacles so no matter what i feel that this person really wants some sort of healing to take place and they imagine you as being like maybe their future wife or their future husband or if you guys are already married maybe reconciling if you're together um if this is like you know friendship related like it's, it's totally platonic even though most of my readings are romantic i am getting that again i just keep hearing i want to leave the past in the past and i want to mend fences and i want to I want to invite you places i want to do fun and exciting things and like yeah i'm getting friends family dinners cocktails um you know galas stuff like that and especially if this is new this person definitely wants to get to know you like candlelit dinners like they want to get to know you they love the way you look you're very interesting and you're very creative to this person it's like your fashion sense is off the chain and they notice that people kind of look at you you have a luxurious style to the way you dress the way you look so yeah don't be surprised if this person yeah offers you some some serious some real love okay yeah this person feels like you know there's some competition right um with you with someone else possibly i mean if you have like your ex around if you're i mean let's just say like if you're out and you're kind of looking at other people this person gets really jealous if you like to have toys and the bedroom okay yeah because i keep looking at this this person is shady af and it's like how are they feeling about you it's like they don't know if they can trust you 100 percent because maybe a yeah a lot of people want you a lot of people want to be with you i mean this is the five of wands after all right for some of you this person could be into sports um competitive sports this person definitely could be into some sort of hospitality or you know real estate um is coming through but those are just side messages um how else is this what is this person um let's see no let's get let's get so i'm gonna pull a few more tarot cards so let's see how um what's this person what, what are they gonna do next we know how they're feeling what are they gonna do next okay <laughs> that um uh, for some of you this person's gonna spend some nights alone um thinking about you in a physical way because it's the tower this is somebody home alone with a toy i mean i really can't actually show this you know what i'm saying but yeah this person's gonna spend some time um at home alone thinking about you and having explosive thoughts about you because they want to create some sort of balance so um this person's gonna let you know i wouldn't be surprised they're gonna let you know how they feel about you 
Um, so if this person hasn't been being real with you, especially if this is sex sexual, if they haven't been being real, this is the six of six of pentacles with the six of roses. If they haven't been being 100% like real with you, this person thinks about you in a highly, highly, highly sexual way all the time. And the reason I'm saying that is because I have the seven of pentacles, I have the ten of pentacles, I have the five of pentacles. That represents time. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, oh my God. Even when they're down and out, they're thinking about you with that five of pentacles. This person has abandonment issues. Okay. So I wouldn't be surprised if this person gave you a lot of love and then kind of took their love away. Okay. Um, if that makes sense. I wouldn't be surprised if this person, yeah, took their love and then um, and pulled away. And the reason I'm saying that because we do have the Hermit here. Virgo energy, Aries energy, Scorpio energy. All right, let's just see. What does this person want to say? Um, what do they want you to know right now? And then we're going to, I guess, maybe wrap it up for pile number one. Wow, my children will love your children. So, um, if you if you guys are a blended family, these are specific messages. Okay, um, they would love your children. Or if you don't have children and they have children, it's like, yeah, something like that. Family is important, and I knew that because we got the Ten of Pentacles here, right? Okay, so let's see. Music is my life force. You are my muse. I feel that this person listens to a lot of music. Maybe they're a musician. Maybe they love music. Music is involved here in some sort of way. Maybe they've shared music with you. Um, if you're hearing music, if you're hearing songs, that's that person sending you some sort of telepathic energy. They're sending you a vibe, letting you know. Like if you're hearing lyrics and it reminds you of this person, yeah. But definitely this person is into music in some sort of way or they create music or it could also i'm hearing art okay all right it could be art anything creative artistic okay this person you are their muse um they get they get a lot of inspiration from you right and let's get one more wish you would have told me before this is so complicated so if there was anything that happened between you guys in the past or like if you weren't able to be together and like you know something happened it's just something about the past that makes the current energy a little bit difficult you know it could be some form of communication or just whatever that is you guys know and it's like they'll forgive you just be honest but maybe you kept something from them or you know they could even be feeling like they wish they would have told you something right but i am feeling guided to leave it here for now if you guys like this please don't forget to press smash like heart if you can from the inside out yes because i can definitely feel your energy and let me know what your intuition is telling you in the comments down below i'll see you in your next reading until then namaste peace and love <laughs> hi pile two welcome back welcome if you're new if you chose this citrine crystal this is your reading let's get right in to it um so what is this person what how are they feeling about you what do they want to say this is going to be the why or what's going on around you and this is the actual channel message that came through for you we have you will meet someone new so yeah this person can be feeling like I'm hearing like you're you're you know, like you could do better you're you're better than me and dancing manifest they feel yeah with this dancing manifest <laughs> I just feel like this person especially if you're a dancer or a creative person um they just kind of seem like they feel like you get you get like you're gonna leave them behind you know I'm getting the vibe of like are you gonna leave me behind um 
Oh, yeah, because... Uh, yeah, this three, of, this three of Swords right here with this Three of Feathers... This person could definitely be feeling really heartbroken, okay? Um, this could be after a relationship. So maybe this person met you and like they're, they've gotten out of something. We, there's an ending here of some sort, okay? Um, could be with any sign, but this could have happened during Libra season. This could have happened recently. We do have the Justice card here. I just kind of feel like, yeah, there's some like there's some injustice here. Like, you know, I mean, there's great balance, but someone's jealous, you know, with this someone's feeling they're, they're feeling a, a little bit green with, with envy, especially if I hate to say it, like if this is someone's ex even if this is not an ex, if this is someone new that's coming in, it could just be like some legit baggage you know from and they're like paranoid um if this is same sex if this is same sex could like relationship for sure um this person just they don't want to be hurt and they kind of feel like they lucked up when they met you they kind of feel like you know there could be some sort of third party situation going on now um if that's not your energy you could be feeling this way about this person, but I will say, if that's not the case, um, this person could be dreadfully feeling like, I hope that you don't, like, move on and find someone else, okay? Um, yeah, this is crazy. I need to get some... Oh, yeah, I'm getting a strong confirmation that this person doesn't know what's up. That's how they're feeling. They don't know what's up with you. They don't know what's going on with you. They don't know if you've ended things. Is it really over? It's like that's the type of vibe that I'm getting from this energy. But let's see how you're feeling about this person. Okay, let's just see real quick. Just tap it in. And let's just see how are you feeling about this person currently. Then we're gonna see more in depth what's up with them. Okay, yeah, you just kind of feel like, hey, are we doing this? Are we not doing this? You could have asked this person for help. You could have really invested a lot of time. You could be feeling like maybe you tell this person how you feel and like the ball is in their court. Maybe you're not talking to this person, you know? Um, you could also be feeling like this person is they're sweet and charming, but maybe this person has a bit of a narcissistic streak to them, but it's still something about them that you're attracted to. This person can have blonde hair. Um, this could be a biracial couple situation. This definitely could be um, long distance, okay? Um, yeah, you, you feel like this person, sometimes they're a knight in shi shining armor and then it's like, sometimes it's just like, seriously? But then they're fun. You know, this person does bring you some sort of excitement. Could be a Leo, could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, could be any sign. But let's just see, how are they feeling about you and like, what are they gonna do next what can you expect from them don't forget to press like if you guys like this it really helps me when you do that oh my god yeah you know there's something about this person you really like and they really like about you too this is giving mutual vibes and the reason i say that because this justice they're in this sort of 69 position okay so hey like the balance is popping the chemistry is popping this person feels like they want a new beginning with you and you're showing them something new that they've never seen before 
maybe you like to burn palo santo maybe you do a little candle candle magic maybe you have a strong 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 creative streak that this person finds incredibly attractive because you have to remember that the knight of cups is also um, quite the charmer and you know creative person okay let's just see what are they gonna do what are and like how are they feeling about you and what what are they gonna do next Okay, I, I I hate to say this. It's like this person's gonna, they're gonna give you. Okay, it could go both. It could. There's two scenarios. I would have to say, this person's going to put in the work, the blood, sweat, and tears. Okay, they're gonna try really, really hard, um, to put in the work for you. Okay with this seven of roses they're gonna try to put in the work and for some of you this person's gonna try not to do too much but get a whole lot so just watch out for that you know make sure that they're that this is a balanced and healthy connection especially if there was some sort of pain or abandonment or issues that either of you have went through in the past with this um with that 10 the ten of swords there which is the the ten of feathers okay um did i mention the zodiac signs i I'm, I'm sure i did we definitely have taurus virgo capricorn energy coming through oh let's see what is this person gonna do uh what are their intentions what are they gonna do next and how are they feeling just delve a little deeper. Mm, okay. I don't really like this for intentions, you know, so that's why you have to be careful with this person because with this five of shells here, I just feel like this person's gonna kind of play games and they might like leave you on red or something like that like give you a lot of energy invite you out do things and then kind of like not necessarily ghost for some of you it could be ghosting but just like not give you the attention that you need like they might hit you up but it might not be the attention that like you deserve so just kind of be for what are their intentions you know what are they going to do next I mean why why is it this five of cups energy let's just see why are, are they like that um because this person has been hurt in the past we have the four of pentacles this person could be a love hoarder a money hoarder this person could be selfish like they could be you know they could have a lot but not want to give a lot because maybe they you know they've been hurt i mean there's 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 literal pain here let's not forget that we have this three of swords and we have this ten of swords okay so there's great pain here that this person experienced and yeah i just feel like you know this is something that just kind of comes up you know it's something that comes up with them because it's attached to their emotions okay so yeah i'm getting really strong cancerian energy coming through all right um let's just see why why wow okay yeah and it could be just that you know what um you could be coming up with this as a queen of swords here you know um hopefully this isn't a masculine in this energy but because if it is it's like it's really difficult to deal with a masculine energy in a queen of swords energy it's like oh my god they can sit like there's a lot of head games okay and a lot of intrigue so this person when it comes to you it's just like oh you got this person sprung up you got them like you got them tied up like if they are tied up they're having oh my god i can't believe i just said that it's crazy seven of feathers are you kidding me listen if there's anything scandalous going on it's like this person they don't even they just they're like you got me tied up i'm gonna have to tell the person i'm gonna have to tell i'm gonna have to tell them the truth about you i'm gonna have to because i'm like nothing like if they've been intimate with somebody else it's like it doesn't feel right Whew. Mm. 
I'm hearing it's the strip tease. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Do you guys get some? <laughs> oh, uh, they're like, oh, you should get an OnlyFans. I'm hearing, like, all this crazy stuff they're saying. Like, you. It's you. It's like you. Yeah, you got this person hung up and you got them tied up. If they're tied up, they they know it's time. It's time to end something. Like, they're about to drop someone for you yeah that's what's about to go down that's what it is and it's like i'm sorry i had to do this i'm sorry like and i'm not even sorry i got caught because i'm just caught i'm just out here like that's the vibe that i'm getting <laughs> which is so cute oh look high priestess on the bottom of the deck yes you're just like you're everything to this person you have this hidden knowledge you you know about what's trending you know what's gonna happen before it happens your intuition is on point you're like this spiritual goddess god goddess energy and your timing is impeccable your mind your body that's what i'm hearing them say about you like that's you on the bottom of the deck that's the high priestess energy i'm just saying okay you might have told them things and it actually happened and they're just like i'm stuck They'll make time for you. They want to make time for you. That's what I'm getting. All right, so let's see what do they want to say to you if they were to, you know, to, like, say anything. What do they want to say? It's my dear pile number two. Welcome back. Wow, okay. Hold on. That was too many. Okay, that's cool. I notice how people stop and stare when we're together. So, mm, yeah. If they were with somebody else, you you look better than their ex. You look better than anybody they've ever been with. And they could have been with the baddest. But it's like, no. Your beauty it, it's it's it radiates your energy your vibe it radiates people notice you it's your i'm telling you you're glowing from the inside out okay they notice how people and then the thought of you makes me want to touch myself what really <laughs> um that's kind of deep i'm just saying um, this is a channeled message, okay? What's up right now? Love messages from Soul Foolish Girl. Um, the thought of you makes me want to touch myself. So, yeah, this person, I don't know. They like the way you dress. They like the way you look. You make them feel happy and proud to be with you, to be in your energy, to show you off. Doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine. Let's get one more. What do you want to say? Ooh. Okay. All right. Oh, there's no such thing as competition. So, yeah, they just kind of feel like you're better. Like I said, you're better than anyone that they've ever been with. And they're going to fight for you also. But they're, what they're saying is like, babe, you don't need to be jealous. You don't need to worry about anything like that was in the past. This person sweats you a little bit more than they than they sweat other people that they've been with in the past is what I'm getting at. All right. So, yeah, that's all I have for today. Pile number two. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Mm wow i look now see i love when i feel i use my intuition and i just i look and i look and i read energy bottom of the deck i notice how people look at you when we're together i'm so happy to have you in my life this one says i notice how people stop and stare so this is a double confirmation right here this person cares a lot about how you look so, if you feel insecure about your looks, that's impossible. This person loves how you look. So, 
I mean, there's two things, you know, don't don't allow this person to be so caught up into like phys physicality that they don't deliver. OK, what you need in the 3D, make sure that with this seven of pentacles that they're actually putting in the work. OK, um, because they care a lot about how you look and it's like, OK, you know, you know, I know you you love how I look, but like, how do you make me feel? Make sure this person is treating you properly. Right. There we go. That's a confirmation. And that's all I have for today, Pile 2. You guys are amazing. Um, don't forget to let me know what your intuition is telling you about this situation in the comments. Press like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you soon in your next reading. Until then, namaste, peace and love. Hi, Pile three welcome back welcome if you're new just breathe with me take what resonates leave what doesn't let's see how does he she feel about me if you chose this citrine crystal this is your reading and let's just get right into some channel messages call someone who calls you back so yeah this person feels like hey um maybe you call them maybe they like your uh communication maybe yeah they like that um give each oh okay that's a plot twist um give each other some space at the moment and all will be and all will work out so um mm, okay so i just kind of get the vibe that like yeah, you maybe you're not sweating this person. Maybe you're giving them more space than necessary. Okay, okay. So that's a good thing. Um, we do have the page of wands. Ooh, that's pretty hot. Yeah, this person kind of feels like. Mm. All right, this person's spending a lot of time. Um. I don't even know what to say. Wait. <laughs> I wasn't ready for this pile right here. Oh. Um. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if this person is trying to do some type of uh, sexual magic work on you. We got the page of wands, the page of cups, and the moon. Don't be asking my spirit, guys. Don't be asking my clear cognizance energy. Why do I know this stuff? Okay um that's just what i'm saying this person who what could be going on right now it's a lot of spiritual energy going on between the two of you and you could be getting together like in the astral but you're not really getting together that much in the physical okay but definitely this person is spending some time loving themselves okay loving themselves while they're loving you and they have fantasies um you know be careful not to get into some polyamory if that's not what you're what you want to be into okay um all right that's just let me just calm it down let's just see for a second how are you feeling about this person definitely this person does not know where where they stand with you in this connection but they definitely want you in a highly sexual way okay this person is like manifesting okay and like really wanting you um how are you feeling about this person you don't know you don't know for a lot of you i feel like this could be new i'm feeling like this could be a newer connection here Okay, this could be sneaky link energy. I hope that's not what's going on. Um, because that energy did just kind of peep through just a little bit. Um, with this five of swords, there could, you know, you're feeling like, yeah, maybe you feel like this person's not telling you something, but you can't help but think about them. We got the two of cups here, so you. okay that's a confirmation okay that definitely 
you do kind of like this person and you feel like they could be a good match maybe this is the opposites attract type of situation i feel like for some of you you've definitely gotten some readings done on this person and you feel like you know mm, yeah if there was anything that you got into if you guys got into it or if there was an argument or something you want to work it out with this person but you could also feel like this person's hiding something from you and that could be causing you to like hold back your feelings a little bit but let's just see um you guys could definitely be receiving some sort of revelation also here with this high priestess energy cancer pisces scorpio Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. How's this person feeling? Um, this person knows that the that they need to do something. Yeah. Like, if they, for example, if this person hasn't been calling you back or texting you back, they know that they they have to do something because you're you're a hottie over here in this high priestess energy, okay? So it's like you have a lot of self-love and you're aware of people who don't love themselves. So this person, yeah, with the, how are they feeling? What they're going to do next? Wow, four cups. Um, I hate to say, I hope this person is not in some kind of way trying to play an ego game with you. Yeah, it's like this person really feel, like they feeling you, but then they be fronting and acting like they're, they're they don't like that's I, I definitely get the energy of someone like playing mind games, but they can't play mind games with you because you you can see what's up. Like you're even receiving this information now, right? Been there, done that. Queen of Swords energy, okay? It's like you've been there, you've done that, and it's like okay, is that the game that we're playing? This co is coming out again. I, you cannot make this up. That's why I love shuffling on the camera. Really strong Gemini Aquarius sleeper energy. So, yeah, this person, you know, they're they're going to wow you. They're gonna show you something. Like you were, you might be thinking that this person wasn't into you, or they weren't like I don't know. They were hiding something. It's gonna come out. The truth is gonna come out. Um, this person's gonna make some sort of romantic gesture. It might not be anything major. But they are going to come through and do something nice. Um, they might reach out to you. Okay. Um, oh, my God. Oh. Why is everybody... Why am I hearing, like, I don't want to be a player no more? Why is that coming through? Okay. We got the lovers here and we got the hermit. Someone is tired of being alone. It's like, I might have to give up my playboy, playgirl energy. Because, you know, I can only spend so much time alone. I can only... Yeah. And some there's a demand for the truth that, that needs to come out. But I definitely get the vibe that this person... Like they just think you're such a good kisser. If you've never kissed them, that's all they think about is kissing you. It's, especially if this is long distance. Even if it's not long distance, this is a, there's something about your mouth. This person loves your mouth. I'm hearing like, oh, your teeth, everything. Like, you're be old, the way you smell. Um. So if there's been any space or distance, I have to say... I mean, they might fantasize about doing, you know, things on the side, but this person be all up at home, okay? They be all at home by themselves <laughs> and thinking about you, especially if you're mysterious and especially if you're younger than them, there could be some sort of age gap here in this connection, right? Um, They do think about you a lot, like... They do. They wonder. They feel like, man, you, you can have anybody. Like, what were you doing? Oh, my God. Justice card. Yeah. This person wants to have all types of um, physical experiences with you that transcend space and time. Like, they would do. I feel like they're going to do anything for you. Um, even though, like, let's see why they're not calling you back. Okay, call someone who calls you back. If they're not calling you back, if there's some communication issue, let's just see why. We're going to tap in and see what this person wants to 
What do they want to say to you? Oh, okay, I'm being guided to go back to the tarot, okay? All right. And let's see, what is this, um, what is this communication thing? Okay. What is this communication? Call who calls you back. That's just sticking out to me. Maybe some of you feel like, okay, this person needs to be communicating something, right? Um, why is this call someone who calls you back? Why are they feeling that way? Anyway. I'm here because it's new. Oh my god, I just said that. Look, and we have the page of pentacles. It's because it's new. It's like this is definitely new. If you've been with this person for a while, then this could be that, or if this is on again, off again, this is new territory. Okay, this situation is new, and you're showing them something new, they're feeling something new here with this lovers. This is just so new to them. You get me. And yeah, it could be biracial. Um, definitely, that's coming through really strong. There are just this new experience that is the reason why this person is taking it slow. So if there's a blockage in communication or anything like that, it's just because the connection is new. All right. Um, don't waste your time talking to me about your ex. So if you have said anything to offend this person or if you talk about your ex or if you get mad that they talk about their ex right or you know just that past kind of like a little bit like toxic energy that kind of comes up in relationships right um i, I don't really i don't like come with you i don't want to hear such a freaking ex like what <laughs> better be good news like and they better they better be like not trying to be up on you like what you know um i always get exactly what i want so yeah this person could just have that vibe of like you know um it, it's gonna be fine they could be very nonchalant you know especially if this is new this person's like yeah, they want to let you know that they can have you. Like, whatever issues, hang-ups, like, like, even if you're in this Queen of Swords energy and you're just like, oh, yeah, I'm a boss. And they're like, I always get what I want. I'm going to get my way. Even though this is, even though this connection is new, there is a lot of a really strong sexual energy coming through. I want to point that out. All right. Um, let's see. What else? What else do they want to say? To my pile number three what else did they want to say wow i haven't responded because my life has literally been turned upside down so i mean there you go right there something must have happened in their life you know, the lovers often can talk about a choice or a decision. So this person, if you haven't heard from them, you know, I'm hearing like something happened with the law. Something happened with them. Something's going on with them legally. Um, maybe that's and it might not even be like responded. It could just be like maybe you talk to them and maybe the communication has changed or or switched up in some sort of way. Um, if this is new yeah this person could just have some personal issues going on and if you really like them and you feel like your connection is worth the wait then you know stick around or just send them some like support at this time and let them know that you know you get it you get that life happens all right let's just get one more we have you remind me of my father i just love when i get this i just love when i get this it gives me warm and fuzzy feelings i feel like this person had a really great dad in their life and maybe you make this person want to be a dad maybe you make this person i mean you you could share the same zodiac sign with their dad um and for some of you yeah this person's dad could have like passed on and they feel like their 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 dad like sent them to you right 
um you remind me of my father for some of you it's just it's literally um you just you're like dang you know it just feel you just feel like a perfect match to this person you make them think about long-term relationships you make them think about children um being a father or you know being the father of your children or um you being the father of their children um they definitely feel like you are a great dad um even if their dad wasn't so great it's like you're a great dad it's just something about you feeling some sort of void void that comes from their dad and what's on the bottom of the deck let's just see um Please believe I'm heartbroken over things between us. So if there was ever any issue or anything that, you know, requires some sort of healing, emotional healing, this person is heartbroken. And especially if this is a long distance connection or you're not around this person. Um, they just they miss not being able to talk to you or be around you um especially like i said if this is long distance if this is not long distance you can expect this person to break to to break out look <laughs> they're gonna whoo i don't know why i just said that but whatever <laughs> hopefully this person isn't locked up and they're gonna try to break out for you what the heck okay wait wait no um just <laughs> this person's gonna come forward and and tell you that yeah you know that how they really feel about you they're gonna tell you how they feel about you and how amazing you are and how they can't live without you especially if you haven't been speaking to this person okay let me know when that happens let me know what you think about this reading what is your intuition telling you down in the comments don't forget to press like share subscribe and i'll see you in your next reading until then namaste peace and love